Assalamu alaikum viewers, Dr. Ifan Mul here. Today we will discuss about very interesting topic named as approach to polyuria. Usually parents come to you and they are concerned that child is having excessive urination. So what is the cause and how we can fix it? Whenever a patient with polyuria comes to you, measure 24 hour urine output first. If it is more than 3 liter per 24 hour, then do plasma glucose level. Now you will have two possibilities, either plasma glucose level is normal or raised. If it is raised, then it is uh, truly a case of diabetes mellitus and you have to run further test and treatment accordingly. In case of normal plasma glucose level, you have to run urine osmolality test and again you will come up with two other possibilities. Either it is raised or low. In case of raised, it is more than 300 milli osmo per liter and the lower strength is less than 250 milli osmo per liter. Uh, when a urine osmolality test have value more than uh, 300 osmo per liter, it is a clear-cut case of solute diuresis, which is caused by drugs just like diuretic and mannitol, contrast or urea. When the value is lower than uh, 250 osmo per liter, and now you will do again another test which is serum sodium level, and you will come up again with two other possibilities either it is normal or it is low low level of serum sodium suggest psychogenic polydipsia which means child is drinking excessive water that's why he is urinating excessively in case of normal uh, serum sodium value you have to run another test which is known as water deprivation test uh, let's talk about uh, water deprivation test first. In this test, patient is required to stop drinking water or juices for 8 hours. If after 8 hours, urine osmolality value is raised, then it is clear case of psychogenic polydipsia, which is already discussed. And if it is continue less than 250 milli osmo per liter, then it is a case of diabetes insipidus. Now it is time to administer desmopressin and run test again after 4 hours. And as usual, we will come up again with two possibilities. Either its value is normal or its value is low. If after administration of desmopressin, urine osmolality value remain low, then it is a case of nephrogenic diabetes insipidus. And if after desmopressin, urine osmolality is in normal range, then it is a case of cranial or central diabetes insipidus. That's all for today. If you have any doubt or question, you can ask in comment section. Thanks.